Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will explain the diagnostic imaging for mandibular fractures. Uh, plain films are least useful, but the only imaging available in some cases. When plain films are used to diagnose mandibular fractures, one should include radiographs taken in two planes at 90 degrees to each other. The minimum requirement is a PA view and a panoramic view. These views will readily show all fractures of the mandible. One can supplement these uh, images with uh, a reverse town view uh, to better identify uh, or show the medial lateral position of the condylar process fractures uh, and the lateral uh, oblique views to better identify body and angle fractures. Uh, periapical dental films, occlusal view, if there is suspicion of dental root fractures or periapical abscess. Uh, the CT or cone beam CT or 3D imaging has become the standard of care for the diagnosis of all facial fractures. Uh, here you can see uh, a plain film uh, of a posterior lateral uh, oblique showing a fracture uh, in the angle area. Uh, another view of the interior lateral oblique showing fracture of the body of the mandible, uh, OPG uh, showing angle uh, fracture. You can easily appreciate another view uh, that is showing the angle fracture. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, multiple lines of the fracture or you can see a complex fracture or a segmental fracture. Now, uh, um, fracture in the parasymphysis area uh, in OPG. Here again, you can see a fracture in the body area. That is a complex or a multiple lines, or you can see a segmental fracture. Now let's see the position of patient uh, for PA jaws or PA, or PA mandible projection. The patient is in a, a forehead nose position and the X-ray beam is uh, horizontal centered or passing through the ray mai. Uh, radiographic baseline is, this is a radiographic baseline that is horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. This radiographic baseline uh, is drawn from the external auditory meatus to the outer canthus of the eye. Uh, so uh, the resultant uh, image uh, is here you can see an animation uh, that is the uh, forehead nose position uh, of the patient. And uh, this is the basic uh, radiographic line. And now the central ray pass through the ray mi hitting the film at 90 degree. The resultant image uh, that is uh, showing the fracture in the angle area of the mandible there is another view showing a fracture in the angle area. Now let's see uh, the position of the patient and let's see what is the difference of reverse town view uh, from the PA jaw or PA mandible. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, the nose and forehead nose position of the patient. The radiographic baseline is uh, Again, horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. Uh, the mouth is open and X-ray beam is now passing uh, through the condylar area and hitting the film at 30 degree. Remember that the 30 degree angle will not be measured from here, that is from with the film directly and making the angle, but you will measure this angle within dotted imaginary line. So this is 30 degree. Uh, uh, in the PA jaw, we have observed that the central ray was passing through the ray mai and mouth was closed. In this case, the mouth is open and the X-ray beam, central beam is passing through the condylar areas and hitting the film at 30 degree. Now see the resultant image uh, that is uh, clearly seen the condylar area on both sides and you can easily appreciate uh, the condylar fracture. There is another view showing the condylar fracture. 
Uh, now let's see what is the significance of uh, two uh, radiographs taken at a 90 degree to each other, or you can say uh, what is the significant of reverse town view with respect to the OPG. Uh, here you can easily appreciate the fracture uh, in the body area, and also you can uh, see the fracture in the subcondylar area. Uh, let's observe this another OPG easily uh, clearly seen the fracture area and the body area of the op of the mandible in, in the OPG, but here uh, there is a doubt in the fracture. There is a doubt on the right side, the cortical outline is difficult to follow uh, at the base of the condyle. Uh, so only a single fracture at the body is uh, seen easily. So uh, we will take the uh, reverse down view and here you can see the condylar area is easily uh, appreciated and uh, you can uh, see the right condylar fracture easily. Uh, this is the same picture and the uh, fracture is easily uh, seen uh, apart from the fracture in the body area. Now let's uh, see the position uh, of the patient for the lower 90 degree occlusal. The X-ray tube head is uh, placed uh, below the patient chin. This is a below the patient chin in the midline centering an imaginary line uh, joining the first molar. Here you can see this is touching the first molar at an angle of 90 degree to the receptor. This is the film. So this at central beam is making the 90 degree angle here. You can appreciate a 90 degree angle uh, to the image receptor. So this is the resulting resultant image and uh, you can appreciate the fracture in the symphysis area and both these radiograph, these are taken uh, at the 90 degree uh, occlusal uh, for the mandible. Now let's see the uh, position of uh, posterior interior view of the skull. Uh, position of the PO, PA skull projection, the patient is in the forehead nose position and the X-ray beam is uh, horizontal. Uh, X-ray beam, sorry, X-ray beam is horizontal. Uh, radiographic baseline is also horizontal and perpendicular to the, uh, to the image. Uh, now let's see the animation, uh, nose, uh, forehead, nose position of the patient. Uh, radiographic baseline uh, is horizontal and perpendicular to the uh, film. Uh, central uh, ray passes through the occipital area, uh, occipital area and hitting the film at a uh, right angle. Now, this is the resultant uh, radiograph showing the fracture in the angle area. Uh, as we said that the CT or cone beam CT imaging has become the uh, standard of care for the diagnosis of all facial fractures. In comminuted fracture CT and our cone beam CT is extremely useful for adequate three-dimensional uh, preoperative assessment of the fracture uh, pattern segmentation uh, and uh, fragment displacement. Uh, the coronal, sagittal, and axial planes uh, each must be studied. Uh, to have a clear overview, uh, a 3D image is optimal. Thank you. Have a nice time.